Hi everyone, this is Keith Robinson, Executive Vice President with Better Homes and Gardens, and this uh, video update, I wanna talk to you about working with multiple clients. This can be tricky and a little bit complex because you may have a husband and wife or two business partners, and how do you focus your attention on two different sellers or two different buyers at the same time? And what's that process like, and how, how do you skillfully navigate those waters? So I'm gonna give you two components. The first one is you've got to determine who is the primary driver and who is the one that's kind of being drug along. And it may be the husband, it may be the wife, it may be one business partner or the other one. You've got to ask a lot of open-ended questions. Things like ask both of them, what are you afraid of about this process? Or what are you most excited about? If they've got a really long answer to what they're most excited about, they're the ones leading the charge. If the thing they're most excited about is they're not sure, they're the ones being drug along. And as you're moving through the process, you have to make sure you're using a highly consultative dialogue and spending more time, effort, and energy with the person who's actually a little less motivated out of the two. Because the other one is going to have the energy to make it through the transaction with a little less input from you. So you need to make sure you're focusing, again, you can't exclusively focus on the one that's being uh, in this, what we're talking about, drug along. You can't focus exclusively on them. You do have to check back in with the other component of this process, but make sure you're giving them a little more attention, a little more of your energy, because they're the one who are going to be creating a little more of the fear and have more fears as they're moving through this process. So key number one, ask a lot of open-ended questions so that you can identify who is the one who's leading the charge and who is the one who is following. The other thing you wanna think about is really lock into what are the fears, what are the concerns for the follower in the transaction? Because if you can help them get a lot more comfort with whatever their key hot buttons are, you'll find that the transaction starts to go a lot smoother. Uh, there's also, we've done a behavioral video, you may want to look at that because there can be different behavioral styles between the two types. So you want to make sure you're communicating, especially with the follower in the way they want to be communicated with. Um, you'll need to slow down a little bit because they're going to have more questions, whereas with the leader, you can sort of just high level it and they'll be all excited and ready to roll along. So really slow down your approach, really be purposeful about how you look at it so that as you're working with two different buyers or two different sellers or even three or four or five if it's a trust or a partnership, you're, you're speaking to all of them, but you're helping the followers get caught up to the leader. So use this when you're working with multiple clients.